Chaboy! Chaboy! Before I say anything, I would want all of us, with a very loud voice, sing our national anthem. We want those who came here to protect us to hear the words of the national anthem. And whoever is listening and whoever that is watching must also hear the words of our national anthem. Shall we all sing? God bless our home and make our nation great and strong bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of right fill our hearts with true humility make us jealous jealous honesty and help us to resist our presence through and help us to resist our presence through with all our will and might forever. Show boy, I wish I for Yama I'm not from Kaka. No, sir, I did a quest, I said, and Mabuna, your warm memo, how you said, and so I said. These in Kwakra 4 have nothing to offer us. They've got nothing to offer us. And here, number one. Number two. A identity. And a mebuna one memo ha yetium. Yes, see where we are sika. No problem. Must say or may no problem. But then sua kaka akaswa ya beno monso. And sua keka. Aka ya beno monso. And also, so more seno. Ye ye nisika, ye bet me the aton sua. Ya crefia brochet the abba. Police for ya wahena. Wamu nisika, I'm bet me the aton imported water. All these police officers. Because, and Pabwa crash a police for ya wahena. Police for ya protect ya. Wamu 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 they don't even have money to buy boots for police officers who are standing here. And baby, I hear Drono. Yeah, yeah, can I say? Yeah, more be a queen say yes, we are sick and tired. And so no essay. And Okoka, they don't want to understand. But I thank God that at least we are people among us. You have a sorry, Ejina. Atina, we will join. Saturday, we will join. Thank you. Thank you. If you say, yen to me, now say, the next five years ahead of us, can I be no one's obey? Can I be no one's obey? Police for ya, what more water cannon so far? Who hear demonstration of Mufisa and why at the end? One baby and so on the go so. And so ben wo me de begu. And so ben a police for na kura de begu water cannon so dey. Eh en so ben. Se se ya me na o kasay. Sa wo kwa kwele bu teaching hospital. Na wo kwa kwa no teaching hospital. Wo wo mo wo wo mo ya dialysis no. Wo check age na. Wo wo do so. Eh between the ages of 18 and 41. These are the youth of the land. Yen yen to be in Kransu, it's yen yen kwanumu so na niye kidney essay. But these old men, they have stolen enough to buy whatever kind of water they want to drink. Ah, when we are marching, we are not so much about anybody. Those when we are among here, girl, I'm saying, and I am disappointed in the Ghana Police Service. I am disappointed in the IGP. I'm disappointed in the IGP. They are in the forest. And the Ghana police service is telling the whole country, sir. Ghana 
Ghana police service for so woman him say ye to Ghana say e wan cobra Ghana police service so woman him say ye to Ghana say e wan river praso this is the kind of water and police for be to be at the demonstrators on the street of Accra but Ghana Police Service and the IGP, they can't go to Ancobra. And and the police funny, yes, sir. What they are telling us is that yeah, 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 mommy Baku. This is what they are telling us. And and yes, I said they are men only in Accra. They can't go into the bush. When we are two galam say no, when we are ram ho say so, and they have made us to understand, sir, a hey, criminal offence. So we be say ganan so. Anti, I am a police from Peni from the Fee Central Region, Eba, and the Western Region, Eba. No, when we are river and cobra, when we are river and cobra, na. Omanya order, Omanya order, be from above. When the commanders are coming from Ashanti Region. It's a yomu who a river prana. As we speak, there's not a single river. Our eastern region, Ashanti region, central region, western region, Bronga half region, and Sonia Papabium. Not a single river. Not one. Aka Volta Lake was a Volta River. And even this morning, when we send our reporters to go there, and Suana started essay. And also, I started essay. Yabe then yabe to me at na on my yard. Common water, common water. Ye ye be no. But Kwame Nkrumah said something, and I always say it: that change, when it is denied or too long delayed, violence will break out here and there. Not that the men planned or willed it, but our accumulated grievances will erupt with volcanic fury. If these people, if they are saying said they can't protect our waters for us, we will go into the forest and protect our water. When we get there, when we get there, they should send their politically branded police officers to come and kill us. They should send them to come and kill us. Because it's so painful, it's so heartbreaking. Say a war memoir. Now, even missing police officers here, they bought it themselves. The state could not buy them boots. Common boots, police officers, they talk. What do they do? They talk. Now, so what do you seek out the boots, police officer? We will say, Yen Suo, no. What will happen to you? What will happen to you? Baby, I hear Drono, the youth of this land, listen and listen clear. This has nothing to do with your NDC. It's got nothing to do with your NPP. This has got to do with our lives. That is all. And you know, Etina, wherever you are hearing my voice, any baby I will have you know, tomorrow we are demonstrating. They must release our brothers and sisters immediately now. Now. They must release them. Because it doesn't make sense anywhere in this world that me and me demonstrated say Obinjai Bonino. Watch me. Nedia Oya Bonino dear. On the way channel. How? How? And Mr. IGP. Doctor, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where do you any woo? Where any woo? Attorney General, where any woo? Your Excellency, where any woo? Mr. Vice President, where any woo? Honorable Kandapa, National Security Minister, where any woo? Interior Minister, where any woo? Can see, sir. The world will hear, sir. Gan and Suo say, and the youth that rose to demonstrate against that, much won't. No more Jai won't won't na saying so no. Chaboy, the air can say. Etina, yejinam. Etina, yejinam.
Mimi ni daso yechinam ana and I know sir Saturday vigil ne dia eh wo wa mattress aba fabra yes sir aha ya because aya 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 and finally no I want to say sir am I abamumu the youth of this country mum ma yabamumu sir ariano ebese pie ariano ebese pie ariano ebese pie na gana besa fa ne fa ho dibio ya mi shira moina Ghana company of you know Oma feel time so no ni e bie ni se ya ma e fo bie fie ma we ni bebre ba si si a utu fie u nyan so papa no e ti fie mfa o hon se o ti akra ba omo omu on kura si kura se no omo bre o nana o hono ma ka ba ina o no o chira o se in so e nye e mu nye o ji a wo kura na unu mu so papa kura e wo mfa so e wo e wo you know effects Anti Sagana Company, I'm feel tan so we, na se I'm far in so Papa I'm brave now I cry ha, ye ni be brave. I'm kau who se ye do do what it is say, ye be do us ye ni be pie, but since ye be muniyan so Papa no munti, ye I'm far she ho. Anti me message ne anywhere ni, na me dimse Saturday Air Bay, ene ko fo ko juma. Police for no amount of dollars to change ye. Ye be in kuta weapon. Ya masi be konto kwa. E ye peaceful protest. Ba ocha amount muaha amu ye tries or twice. Our number. Anya fine. Enti Saturday ye change si be protest ke si na kasa. Chaboy! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> it is obvious that we have a leadership without conscience. You've seen all the water. You've seen the state of the brim, the pra, Densu, Ayesu, Vota, and all of them. It shows one thing, that our leaders do not care. Our leaders don't have conscience. Our leaders serve themselves, but not the country. Yes. And so we are here as responsible citizens to make a mark that we are prepared to make sure that Ghana is secured for the future. And that is why we are saying that, say no to Galamse. This house adjacent here is a parliament house. It is where all our laws are made. All the laws that is promoting Galamse was passed there. We have heard members of parliament say that they are not prepared to stop Galamse today or tomorrow. But what we are telling them is that we are prepared to boot them out of office so that we have responsible people like you 
go to that chamber to make responsible laws to save this country. The message is simple. If you are a young person and you are home, because your mother told you that it is not safe. If you are a young person and you are home, because your parents told you that if you go, uh, you will bring their family name into dispute. No, that, but for these brave young people, this country will fall and you will not have a country to stay in. So I call on every young person out there, come out in your numbers tomorrow. Come out in your numbers on Saturday. Let us send a clear signal to our irresponsible leaders, our mindless leaders, our conscienceless leaders, that will not sit down for them to destroy this country. If they don't want to be useful, we will boot them out of power. And this protest will not stop until an a state of emergency is declared on Galamsey. It will not stop until Say is not only a health menace, it is not only a social menace, but also an economic menace. My brothers and sisters, what are you doing at home? What are you doing at home? And let me take this opportunity. Is there anybody celebrating his or her birthday here? No. Anybody? No. Well, there's a leader, a person who has done great for the youth of this country especially those that have been incarcerated. For your information, Honorable Alan Kojo Tramatin paid for the legal fees of your fellow colleagues that have been incarcerated. He has been feeding them since they were remanded in police custody. So, what I want you to understand is that today, today, it's my brother, I go. Joe boy, Joe boy. Today, today is his birthday, and we are demonstrating on his birthday. So I want, I want you all, ladies and gentlemen. Galamse no so.
Hey, hey, relax, relax. Myself, Branson, everybody, all 20 organizers and others who helped us. I want everybody to understand that the individual who came to address the crowd early on has no connection to us, has no business with us, and we are protesting as citizens of Ghana. He has no connection to us, we have no business. We are concerned citizens of Ghana and we are protesting for Galamse to stop now. We are protesting for our brothers and sisters who have been arrested and detained and put under remand to be released. Please, please, please. I am begging each and every one of you. I am going to hand over to Captain, but let it be known we are Ghanaians. Full stop. Thank you. Hello. Before Captain talks, let me. Let me. Hello. 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 To be faithful and loyal to Ghana, our motherland. Not any political party, not any groupings. Now, this problem confronting us is not discriminatory. It's not affecting one party, it's not affecting another party, it's affecting all Ghanaians. Now, everything he has said is null and void. We are the organizers. And whatever we say holds. Thank you. Choboy! 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 Arise, Ghana youth, for your country. The nation demands. Let us all unite to our and make a great and strong. Colors, yes. not with your grouping colors, yes. but you came as Ghanaians. Yes. We are grateful. Yes. See, I said what is confronting us is more than the comfort we enjoy. Exactly. And I said that this is not just another protest, but this is a desperate cry for survival. Yes. So tomorrow, we are coming again. Okonglo, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Listen, I'm pleading with you all. Let's come out in our numbers the same way. Let's be Ghanaians. Let's stand against every odd and show up tomorrow. And we are moving straight to this place. We are yet, we are yet to petition the AG's office. They are around, so we will be doing that right here on the platform. So the people we will be petitioning are around. We will put the petition together and then you will all be witnesses to it. Now, I want to make this statement. I know there is a rep coming for the petition on behalf of the aging. But by 6 p.m. and beyond, when we get home, 
We want to get a release from them that they have received their, uh, their petition. If not, we will come for our petition tomorrow morning. Thank you. bodies are being polluted. Our brothers are behind bar unlawfully. If they admit to this lawlessness, then we are ready to talk. And we are not talking about anything other than these two objectives. So uh, uh, we, uh, we encourage uh, commanders to, to de-escalate so that we can have a civil discussion with whosoever the visitor is.
The police will do the arrest, prosecution would also follow. In the same vein, currently, I must also add that there are over 850 people who are being prosecuted. Eight, for over 850 people who are currently facing charges in respect of illegal mining. So from where we are, or from where we sit, the fight is still going on, even at our office. So this is our way of showing solidarity to those who are demonstrating. This is our fight against Galamse. So from our office, you saw the two young men who are also with me. These are also really, really brilliant attorneys. Now, instead of us maybe joining you on the streets to also protest, we are fighting very hard at our office in respect of illegal mining. We are making sure that those who commit the criminal offense of illegal mining mm. will face the full rigors of the law. And we are prosecuting them in court. We have secured convictions amongst others. Mm. In the same way, during some earlier protests, there were some excesses that has led to this point. And we want to thank the demonstrators today or those protesting today for what the briefing I have so far is that it's been quite peaceful. So we won't say congratulations to them on that score. Mm. So from where we sit, from the office of the Attorney General, we are indeed fighting illegal mining, illegal mining. in our own way. They raised two issues, which include releasing of the 54 other protesters, the democracy have protested that are currently behind police custody. They are saying there are lots of uh, some innocent uh, individuals among them, like including driver's mates that have all been picked up, including 
some people that is alleged that they are even pregnant, others are um, not feeling too well, and they are still being kept. In well, initially, this initially there was an emphatic statement that she was pregnant, but now we are hearing it as an allegation. So that matter, I think, speaks for itself. And in any case, if there are some people who were not or who did not engage in the excesses who were picked up, it was too soon at that point for for any sort of because when we received the dockets this is a matter of public interest mm. so of course the police would bring the docket to the office of the attorney general and when we receive the docket we need time to look at it on case by case basis mm. so you do not be surprised if we go to court next time and we do not raise opposition to most of the bail applications. I'm going to raise opposition. They are asking that Like I said, the attorneys in charge of this matter or the various cases, there are about 54 cases. I wouldn't be the one handling all the, all the numerous cases. They are asking cases. for the attorney general department to discontinue the prosecution process. People are asking that. So is, it, is, it, is it? So that's why we are here to receive the petition. Is it going to be a blanket discontinuance? Is that what is being that's sought what for? for. Irrespective of the excesses that took place, that would be a decision for the attorney general himself to take because I will not overstep the, the constitutional boundaries given to me. So when it comes to certain aspects, it is only the attorney general that can take it. But mm. I do assure you that these matters will be looked at on case by case Girl. basis. And that's what's happening right now. Girl, thanks so much. So you are waiting to receive the petition from the We are waiting to receive the petition. They said it's not ready. Um, it's been signed or something of the sort but we are here with them we are patient and we do understand that these are citizens exercising their rights under chapter 5 of the constitution so we are in solidarity with them as we also respect the law and we are just hoping that there will not be any excesses in this regard so we are hoping for the best at the end of the day we all want our waters to be clean and i repeat that from our office how we are fighting Galamse is by prosecuting all, all the cases that come before us. And that's what exactly is happening right now. I know you say you don't you. want to step out of your boundaries, but those that have been arrested, the 54 members, is there any particular de uh, deadline for them? Or maybe the Attorney General have deadline for them, for them to be released? The Attorney General cannot give deadline for them to be released because they are, the Attorney General respects the laws, and the laws include orders of the court. So they are in custody based upon orders of the court. So the attorney general cannot enter the prison to release them or order the police to release them when there is an order from a court. So it is their lawyers who have to file the necessary applications and then the office of the attorney general will look at it. So that's why we are saying that on the next agenda, we'll look at it on case by case basis and we will do the need for. At the end of the day, we are not persecutors. We are prosecutors. So we will only prosecute criminal activity where we have to. But where some things are, we have to let go or discontinue like some have suggested. It will be the decision of the Honorable Attorney General himself. The Office of the Attorney General does not arrest. So yes. No the office of the attorney general does not arrest. The office of the attorney general does not remand. We abide by the law. There are various bodies in the constitution and in our laws that have been mandated to do this. So we do not have the power to remand. Our office, because it's a public interest issue. So the docket will be forwarded to us ordinarily because it's a public interest issue. Now you're building with other, mm. other institutions to make sure that they get released. Maybe with the police and other institutional bodies to make sure that the release becomes an immediate effect. We are looking at justice. So it's, it's, it's all a matter of justice. So like I said, we are looking at the dockets on a case-by-case -case basis, and then we will do what's needful in the interest of justice. Right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. last Thank last you. Last you. Last you are looking at justice, right? Yes. So if you are looking at justice, are you aware the processes that are being... Uh, you are, you are, they are being tortured. This is news to me. And it's very good that you're telling me that they are being tortured. It's good you're telling me this. And I believe, if not all of them, unless you can mention one of them who doesn't have a lawyer. Can you? All of them. All of them. All of them. Oh, wow. So all of them have lawyers. So they are being tortured. 
They were denied, they were access, denied to access to lawyers, mm. to food and to even water. They, they moved, moved that around. Court. Yes, so that's, that's a claim that they made, and the police refuted that claim. So we are the office of the Attorney General. We cannot say emphatically that what they are saying is right, what they are saying is wrong. And fortunately, you yourselves have all confirmed to me that they all have lawyers. So if they all have lawyers, then the lawyers, we all went to law school. They know the right application to file. Thank you, thank thank you very much.